Why mm -hmm. are there so many fast food uh, chains in within blocks of one another? Why don't we have clean air? What are some of the answers that they're coming up with? Often we find that, um, and often what they have found is that it, it boils down to the economy, right? Uh, when you don't have enough jobs in the community, it's difficult to sustain um, the types of uh, food establishments that provide for more expensive, healthier food. Mm. You know, there, there, are, or, there are grocery stores out there that have certain policies, and I, I won't name them on today's show, but th they have policies of not going into communities where the median income uh, is lower than a certain threshold. Um, there are others that have policies where they sell uh, fresh fruits and veggies at rates that are higher uh, in economically vulnerable communities than they do in a more affluent community like uh, Pacific Palisades or Santa Monica. Inglewood has... Is that legal, though? You, you know, it, 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 I, I can't speak to the legality of it, but I can say that... Well, morally, uh, we know that that's... You know, at, but see, here's the way we approach it, right? We say, you know what, it doesn't really matter what these corporations do or what these entities do. It's about what we do as a community, right? So that's why we teach our young folk. We launched a program called 100 Seeds of Change, where they're out building 100 school, community, and home gardens so they can grow their own food. So we can achieve what's called food sovereignty. We, you know, will know how to feed ourselves, mm -hmm. right? We will be able to own the businesses in our communities. We can uh, teach each other how to thrive.